Hello everyone and welcome back to the final sections for Captain Awesome Takes a Dive. Chapter 8. Turbo to the Rescue! No matter how Eugene twisted, turned, or moved, he couldn't fall asleep. How could he? Tomorrow was Friday. Isn't Friday the most awesomest of awesome days? Even during summer vacation, Friday was like the best parts of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all rolled up into one day called Monisnoozer's Day. It was pizza day at school and the night for Sunnyview Superhero Squad sleepovers. But this Friday meant something else. It was the last day of Eugene's swim lessons. Eugene would have to jump off the diving board and into the deep end. Eugene couldn't remember the last time he felt this unawesome, but it probably involved his mom and the words vegetables, no, and dessert. Eugene plopped back onto his bed and covered his face with his pillow. Blah, he groaned. Turbo raced on his squeaky wheel, getting his little muscles ready for their next mission. Eugene sat up and stared at his sidekick. Turbo stopped running. He looked right at Eugene and said, Squeak, squeak. You're right, Turbo. We have to be brave. That's what superheroes do. Eugene climbed from his bed. He clenched his fist and puffed out his chest, because heroic moments like this require chest puffing. It's our job to protect the Sunnyview community pool from the blobby blob blob from the deep end, and no blobby blob blob is going to stop me from doing it. Chapter 9. Grab, squish, blob. It was here, the last day of swim class. When a newfound courage in his heart, Eugene had thanked Turbo for the pep talk the night before. Eugene arrived at the pool, ready for action. Try not to get sick on Super Dude Ice Poptaculars today, Eugene-o, Meredith giggled. <laughs> Eugene ignored Meredith. For one, she looked pinker than cotton candy with pigtails. And for two, Eugene was on a mission. Okay, Seaman, Ted said to Charlie, you get to go for the big dive first. Charlie gave a quick smile and thumbs up to Eugene. Everyone was watching Charlie, so Eugene took two slow, silent steps away from the group, then raced towards the locker room. Charlie stopped at the end of the diving board and looked into the water below. There was something in the pool, something blobby. Go ahead, Seaman. I've got you covered, Ted called up to him. But, Char but there's something in the pool, Charlie replied. I'm here for you, Nacho Cheese Man, Captain Awesome shouted as he rushed to the diving board. Captain Awesome threw a can of cheese and Charlie snagged it in midair. What are you doing, Eugene? Charlie whispered once Captain Awesome joined him. Saving you from little Miss Stinky Pinky's blobby blob blob. And with those brave words, Captain Awesome dove into the water. Mighty! Whoa, a stunned Ted said, then turned to the other kids and asked, Who's Nacho Cheese Man? Underwater, Captain Awesome dove to the bottom to battle with the blobby blob blob from the deep. The blobby blob blob squirmed and wormed, but Captain Awesome would not let it go. He burst to the surface, the dreaded creature firmly clenched in his super hands. Not all your blobbiness shall save you from my awesome grip of goodness, Captain Awesome said as he wrestled the creature. Hold on, Captain Awesome, Charlie called out from above and dove into the water. A can of nacho cheese squirted wildly in his hands. Whoa, a stunned Ted said, then turned to the other kids and asked, Who's Captain Awesome? Batness always loses. Thanks for the save, Captain Awesome. I don't know what would have happened if I had jumped off the diving board without you there to help me. Charlie stuck the can of cheese in his mouth and gave a suck, then offered it to Captain Awesome. Want some? But Captain Awesome had more on his mind than cheese. The blobby blob blob from the deep, from the deep end lay on the ground, looking less blobby and evil than it had before, getting Captain Awesome's one-two underwater punch. Look, Captain Awesome gasped. The blobby blob blob looks like a green giraffe. 
I always knew drafts were evil, Charlie said, hitting the, his palm with his fist. But it wasn't just an evil giraffe. It was Eugene's baby sister Molly's deflated giraffe floaty. It had popped and sunk to the bottom of the pool. Gah, goo, gargle, boo. By all that's gibberish, cried Captain Awesome at hearing the babbling of his most arch of enemies. Could it be true? Queen Stinky Pants from the planet Baby teamed up with little Miss Stinky Pinky? It was true, for there sat Queen Stinky Pants in a lounge chair right next to Eugene's mom. She was smelly. She was stinky. She was sticky. Sticky? Ah! She's eating my Super Dude Ice Poptacular! Captain Mossum groaned. Her terrible trick worked. Why didn't we see her stinky stink was the real evil behind this plot? Because you can't smell evil underwater, C.A. Even stinky evil, Charlie reminded him. The super dude Ice Poptacular may have been lost, but little Miss Stinky Pinky and Queen Stinky Pants were defeated. Captain Awesome's awesome work was done. The blobby blob blob was defeated and would blobby blob blob little swimmers no more. That was one cool Amundo dive, dude, Ted said to Captain Awesome. But next time, no superhero costumes allowed in the pool. It's not safe to swim in a cape. Eugene nodded because superheroes had to follow the rules. I return the pool to your watchful eye, Ted, Captain Awesome said. Continue your fight against sunburn, swimming too soon after you eat, and running by the pool. Will do, little dude. And don't worry, badness always loses. Did Ted really just say Super Dude's favorite saying? Ted gave a wink, and Captain Awesome knew he was leaving the pool in safe hands. Perhaps Ted was not the tattletale double agent spy, the double dipper, after all. No fan of Super Dude could ever be anything but awesome. Captain Awesome smiled before racing back to the locker room. That was one cool little Super Dude, Ted said. The day was done. But even more importantly, swim class was done. Everyone got Ted's excellent swimmer medals because they were all excellent little swimmers. Eugene took home the best prize of all, swim teacher Ted's best of all high dive award. Eugene's awesome dive as Captain Awesome had earned him the top honor in his class. That was way better than Merritt the safest swimmer award or Charlie's most improved paddler. Eugene and Charlie offered a quick wave goodbye there was no need for anything more, for they'd soon be seeing each other again at the Superhero Squad sleepover. It was Friday, after all. Eugene slid into the back seat of his mom's car. With a quick click of the seat belt, he was safe, secure, and ready to go home. Molly was already in her car seat, gnawing away at some poor doll's head. Eugene felt happy. He sat back and closed his eyes. Bad guys beware. Captain Awesome and Nacho Cheese Man had once again made Sunnyview safe. No villain was too bad. No pool was too deep. No blobby blob blob was too blobby. Only one thing could make this day even more perfect. Eugene's mom closed her door, then reached between the seats and handed something to her son. I got you another super dude ice poptacular since Molly ate yours. Eugene took the sugary tea treat and smiled. My tea. And that's it. That's the end. So Super Dude or Captain Awesome overcame his fear and dove into the water to help defeat the blobby blob blob. Anyways, I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.